What the flip is up guys, it's your girl Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. Welcome and or welcome back. If you're new, it's so nice to have you here. I am so glad you decided to click on today's video. We are gonna be doing a quick day in the life. I haven't filmed in a little while and I wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and explain where I went because I did go MIA for a few weeks. By the time this video goes up, it'll probably be closer to like three weeks since I last posted anything on YouTube. So I am so sorry that I left you guys hanging. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what's all been going on. It's been a very busy last few weeks. I have been cleaning and prepping our house because Charlie and I actually fly out to Utah in a few days for her to meet Danny's family. She has yet to meet them. So we're gonna go spend a week with them. And my brother got married yesterday. So yesterday was his wedding and we had family come into town and several of the family members actually stayed at my house. So I spent all last week not only packing for Charlie and I's trip because I wanted to make sure that I had everything packed and ready to go ahead of time because I knew I was gonna be so busy this weekend. But I also wanted to get the house clean for the family that was coming in town so yeah it's just been a very busy past few days but my family actually left a little bit ago Charlie just woke up from her nap you know so I figured I would take you guys along these next few days kind of show y'all what we're gonna be doing show y'all how I am like planning and prepping for this trip that her and I are going on I did pack about a week in advance which I'm glad that I did because I didn't have to worry about anything and pretty much everything of mine and hers is already packed up besides like our essentials like my toothbrush and like my makeup so I don't have a lot left to pack but because because I packed so early, I don't exactly remember what all I packed. So I'm just gonna go through, tweak a little bit of things, see if I overpacked and maybe take a few things out because I wanna condense our bag just a smidge because I wanted to carry our bags on. I'll get into all of that later. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give that a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps support my channel and let's hop into today's video. Sorry, Charlie wanted to join. She isn't feeling very well, she's teething. She's going through a growth spurt, she's going through a sleep regression, she's going through a mental leap, and my youngest brother, Hunter, is one of the family members that came into town and stayed with us, and he got sick, so I'm really hoping that her and I don't catch it. I'm not kidding, y'all, when I say every time that I go to Utah to visit Danny's family, I always get sick before going up there. I don't know why my look is so awesome. The last time Danny and I went up there, I actually had bronchitis and laryngitis, but I wanted to show you guys what we're working with really quick. I apologize, the lighting is gonna be so awful right now. But this is what I did. This is my backpack and this sucker holds so much stuff. So what I did was actually put all of my things and Charlie's things in this bag. And this is actually, it's like a car seat cover for the airport. So when um, the car seat gets put under the plane, it kinda, you know, it's like waterproof. <sighs> I am notorious for overpacking, and long story short, I could check that bag for $30, or I can condense that bag down a little bit and make it a little smaller, because I don't think it'll fit in the overhead bins on the plane with how wide it is right now, and it's pretty heavy. So I can either go back through, repack, if you will. I don't remember what all I packed, so I'm sure there's some stuff in there that I cannot bring. That way, I can condense it down a little bit so it won't be as heavy, and so I can bring that with me on the plane and not have to bother with like baggage claim and all of that so I think I'm gonna do that today I really want to clean up the house because the dogs are gonna stay at my aunt's house she's gonna watch them for me and I don't know about y'all but when I go on trips I like to pretty much deep clean my entire house I like to do all of the laundry I like to clean all of the dishes so when I leave the house is spotless and that way when I come home the house is clean and I don't have to worry about cleaning up when I get home from vacation. You know what I mean? Cause it's already gonna be so exhausting. So that's kind of the rundown for today. I think I'm just gonna make this like a weekend vlog, even though it's Sunday. And I'll show you guys what all we're gonna do tomorrow too. Cause we're actually gonna stay the night at my grandparents' house tomorrow because they live closer to the airport. Usually when I fly out anywhere, I stay with them the night before. They take me to the airport the next morning so I can sleep in a little bit more. And I leave my car at their house. So I don't have to pay to leave my car at the airport. So that's the plan. Little mama's gonna help me. You wanna say hi? You need a beautiful girl. You need a beautiful girl. Y'all, I feel so bad for this child. She is just plum exhausted from this weekend. Just to put into perspective, her bedtime is around 6.30 to 7.30 at night and the rehearsal dinner started at 6.30. That was how our night went. So she is just exhausted. She doesn't feel good. She's tired. She's 
clingy. So this is gonna be really interesting, but we're gonna just hop into this video. Sorry, I needed to pause the TV because I get a copyright claim for freaking Gossip Girl being on in the background. Anywho, um, it's been a little while longer. Charlie is not feeling good. I think I mentioned that earlier. Just been like very fussy and very clingy. She does not want me to set her down. Um, so really quick, I've already swept and vacuumed the floor. We have two dogs that shed like crazy. So I am about to mop. And I feel like I always show the same like three scenes uh, when I start mopping. Like I show the stuff that I use. So I'm not gonna bore y'all with all of that. If you've seen any of my other A Day in the Life vlogs, you will know what I do when I mop my floors. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bucket and I'm gonna fill it with hot water and I'm gonna put probably like this much, I usually just eyeball it, but I put Fabuloso in it and I clean my floors. It makes my house smell really good. It makes the floors really clean. I just, I have to mop like once a week because our dogs are disgusting. So I just want to give y'all a quick rundown. I'm not gonna like show y'all what all I use and stuff because y'all seen it a million times. Fast forward to the time lapse, me mopping. actually since I picked up the camera. I think the last thing y'all saw was me mopping or maybe it was the laundry, I don't know. But I am going to try very quickly and get a little home workout in. Since we've been so busy, I haven't really been able to work out the last few days, which is fine. The last thing I did was on Thursday, I believe, and I went for a run, but that was pretty much all that I did. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and get a quick workout in because realistically, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything done tomorrow. It is currently 5.14 and little mommy here, ever since her sleep regression started, she is usually ready for bed around like 6.30 at night. So I need to have my workout done, my shower completed and dinner done for me if I wanna keep my sanity because if not, she will lose her mind and pretty much scream the whole time. And it just sucks. It sucks for her, it sucks for me. It makes me stressed out so yeah so I'm hoping that she'll let me get in a quick little workout so I'll film that for you guys and then I'm hoping that I can just eat some leftovers and shower I usually don't put a lot of heat on my hair but because I had to put quite a bit of heat on my hair this weekend I want to do a hair mask so I'm gonna do castor oil and coconut oil in my hair tonight sleep on that and then I'll wash it out tomorrow so that's the plan I just wanted to kind of update you guys I'm really hoping that she's going to kind of keep still it's a little chilly outside but I'm gonna do my workout in the garage because if y'all know me at all, you know that I don't really care for at-home workouts. I just, I don't know why I don't do as well when I do those. So instead of doing my workout inside, I'm gonna go out in the garage and see if that kind of helps. Pep up my step. You gonna help mommy? You gonna watch your mommy? Are you gonna watch mommy do a workout? Hmm. Or is it so sleepy? Okay. Let's hurry. We are on a time crunch, guys. We don't have a lot of time, so...
dye my hair. It looks so crazy. It's so humid outside. Earlier when I came out here, it was raining. So it was like kind of cool. And now it's just like humid and sticky. It's really gross. But I just finished my workout. I did a 30 minute workout. I did a 10 minute workout. And then I followed along with her 20 minute ab Pilates workout that she has on YouTube. I'll link that below for you guys. I absolutely love that workout. <sighs> my abs be screaming. Sorry, this is a really bad angle, but I'll do a quick body update for you guys because I don't think I've really updated y'all like postpartum wise at all. Lil Mama is three months old. She'll be four months old on the 12th of October. So I'm four months postpartum. Yeah, so I'm like, the sliding is really bad, but I'm really excited and happy with it. It's so weird because this line used to not be like that until getting pregnant. But anywho, I'm really gross and sweaty and nasty. So Lil Mama did fantastic. She let me finish my workout. I usually, what I do is I'll bring either her swing out here, um, cause I have an extension cord so I can just plug her swing in, or I will bring her little bouncer or her play mat, just depending on how she's feeling. I thought she was gonna get bored in her bouncer, but she's been sitting just chilling in her bouncer the whole time. So yeah, she just chills out here with me and lets me work out nine times out of 10. So now I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that she stays in a good mood and lets me shower really fast. Honestly, my shower won't take me very long. I'm not really that hungry, so I might put off food for a little while, and then I just need to pack. Well, I say pack, I've already packed, but I'm gonna go through and see if there's anything that I can take out. Yeah? Have you been hanging out with mommy? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Good morning guys. So it is currently the next day. I'm really sorry if it sounds like I'm talking low. Charlie's still sleeping so I don't want to wake her up. She had a pretty long day. She's had a pretty long weekend to be quite frank and Yesterday she was just very exhausted. So yeah, I just want her to kind of sleep as much as she can today to prep her for tomorrow because well, we fly out to Utah tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do right now, I can't remember the last thing y'all saw. I think it was probably my workout. I finished my workout. She did fantastic through the workout and then I hopped in the shower. She did great for like the first part of my shower and then like halfway through she just started screaming and she did not let up. So I didn't do anything exciting the rest of the evening. I literally showered, put her in the bath and got her ready for bed and then her and I went to sleep. We were in bed by like seven o'clock. So yeah, it wasn't a very exciting evening for you guys. The first thing that I need to do today is the laundry and like packing. Well, she's still sleeping. So the first thing I need to do today is drink a cup of coffee because your girl needs it really bad. <clears throat> if you can't tell, I sound like a man right now. So yeah, I'm gonna drink my cup of coffee. I'm sure she's gonna wake up here shortly. I don't think she's gonna sleep much longer. And then when she wakes up, because I just fed her not too long ago, I'm going to start packing and trying to get the bag situation situated because tonight I plan on staying the night at my grandparents' house. It's just easier. I was contemplating possibly staying here tonight and just getting up in the morning and going over there. But I just don't trust myself. I'm late everywhere that I go. It's a flaw I wish I didn't have. And I just don't wanna put myself in the predicament of potentially being late tomorrow morning and missing my flight. Ugh, so I think I'm gonna just suck it up and go over there. Okay guys, it has been a few short hours later. Charlie just got done eating. She is awake now. She's actually just chilling down here looking at me smelling. She's like, what is this woman doing? She is in a really good mood right now, so I want to take advantage of this. I've been a little lazy this morning and just kind of hanging out, drinking coffee, watching Gossip Girl. I'm the kind of person where once I start doing stuff, then I just get on like a roll. So like if I start cleaning, then before I know it, I like deep cleaned my entire house. But it's the getting started part that's the most difficult for me. So I think what I'm gonna do is just 
make myself start this packing situation. But because I have put so much heat on my hair over the last few days because of like the wedding festivities, I wanted to also put a little coconut oil in my hair. I was gonna do castor oil and coconut oil. I really don't need to do both. Castor oil is just so thick. Uh, and I don't feel like dealing with that hassle. And usually I put coconut oil in my hair and I sleep with it overnight, but I am not trying to deal with having to wake up in the morning and shower that mess out of my hair. So I'm gonna put that in my hair, leave it in for just a few hours while I like do this stuff around the house. And then I can just shower that out of my hair too. That's what my plan is in my head. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this bad boy right here. I get this from Costco. You can get this literally from anywhere. This is the Kirkland's brand. It's a huge tub. It lasts for freaking ever. There's a million different ways that you can put this in your hair. Some people say that you can heat it up in the microwave and put it on and it's supposed to make your hair grow faster and healthier. Some people say if you heat it up, it like takes all the nutrients out of it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not a professional. I don't know. It's solidified right now inside and what I do is I scoop it out with my finger and the warmth from my hands kind of melts it and I just put it in my hair. It takes like two seconds. It works really well for me. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Coconut oil and packing. Hopefully little mama will, you know, hang out and just kind of deal for a little bit. than what y'all just saw. But with her, sorry, she's smiling at me. But with Miss Charlie right here, I didn't want to take too long doing it. That took me less than 10 minutes to do. And then I just go and brush it through. I just use my like hairbrush that I like to use. And then I will either pull it up in a bun or I'll braid it, just something to get it out of my face. And I would definitely recommend wearing a shirt that you don't care about because if you're not careful, you will get oil all over your shirt and oil stains. So yeah, I am gonna let this sit for a few hours. It is currently 1045. Obviously, the longer that you leave it in, the better it's going to work for your hair. There is no set time that you need to rinse it out. It's not like it's gonna damage your hair if you leave it in too long. Usually, if I do this in my hair, I do it on a day where I know that I'm not gonna need to go anywhere because I wanna let it sit as long as I possibly can. But yeah, let's get into this pack. Okay. Sorry, this is a really awkward angle and I'm gonna try and get this out as quickly as I can. I just wanted to give y'all a little rundown of what my thinking process is right now and what I'm gonna do. This is my plan. So I have this big behind backpack and it might not look it, but this sucker is huge and can hold so much stuff. Now, the problem is, is it's so thick right now and it's expanded out that I'm really worried that it's not gonna fit in the overhead compartment on the plane. If it sounds like I'm speed talking, it's because I am. As y'all can tell, she's getting a little fussy and I haven't even started this packing yet but what I'm gonna do this is a backpack I plan on carrying her in a carrier through the airport at least to get to the gate but I am gonna take her stroller in her car seat with me in case she just doesn't want to be in the carrier anymore or if I get uncomfortable whatever and yes like I said I could check the bags and it's not that expensive but I just feel like I'd rather have everything with me I don't like checking bags anyways I just don't want to deal with lost luggage it's like one less stop that I have to make in the airport I don't know I'm gonna try my best to not check anything maybe I'll regret this decision I have this bag that I've also traveled with. So I'm thinking because I get a personal item, a carry-on item, her diaper bag, the stroller, and the car seat all for free, and the diaper bag does not count as a personal item or a carry-on, I am going to take some of the stuff that's in here, like my shoes and the thicker jacket, and I'm gonna put it in here. That way I can distribute the weight and everything evenly so it's not crazy heavy. I purchased a hook that goes on the stroller that can carry your bags. There's a little area under the stroller 
smaller, it's not a very big space, I am either gonna put this gigantic bag in that area under the seat and take the diaper bag and hook it on the hook or I'm gonna switch it and I'm gonna put the diaper bag in that little area underneath and I'm gonna take this bag and put it on the hook. That way my hands will be open and I can just push the stroller and then I can carry her in the carrier and then I can wear the backpack. That's my game plan, that's what we're gonna do. I actually planned out her outfits and I put them in little Ziploc baggies. So for example, this has a onesie, a pair of pants, a bow, um, socks, it's got everything that she needs for an entire outfit all together. That way I'm not digging through my clothes trying to find all of her clothes. And I did that with literally all of her stuff. Sorry, my camera decided to shut off on me. I don't remember where I was. Basically, I just wanna go through and make sure that I don't overpack. If y'all hear her fussing in the background, she's hungry and ready for a nap. But thank gosh, I actually just finished packing. So I'll show you guys what I did really quick. My child loves me so freaking much. So I just went to pick her up to hold her while I filmed this next part since she was fussing. Y'all, look what she did. What do you have to say for yourself? Y'all, look at this. Full on blowout goes all the way up her back. It's like all in the swing. All right here, yep. What you had to say for yourself? Say, uh, mom, clean this dirty butt. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this out of the swing. Oh my gosh, or out of the bounce. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this out of the bouncer. I'm not kidding y'all, she just did this in her swing not too long ago. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, before she starts screaming because she wants food now. I completely finished everything, so all of that is packed, and then I moved over the stuff so I have. Pretty much just your normal everyday stuff in here. So I've got like all my jeans and like pants and stuff here. Shorts on top and then like leggings for working out. My nightgown, um, a couple sports bras and then the rest are my shirts. And then some socks, a belt. And then in here, like this little zipper right here, this whole thing opens up and it's a pocket. This is just gonna be my makeup, toothbrush, charger, all of that down here. My straightener, my curling iron go in here. And then in here, I put all of my shoes, my thicker sweaters and jackets, which I didn't bring a lot of. And then the rest are just her clothes and stuff. So this is like more washcloths for bathing her, burp cloth, stuff like that, her shoes. And then um, I've got a couple makeup items in a little pocket up here. And then I'm gonna put little things like my car keys and stuff. Just like things that are important that I'll need to get to quickly during the airport to make it easy. That's pretty much everything that I need. So I'm really excited about that. Everything's packed. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this by the door. But I wanna feed her and get her down for a nap first because she is tired. The only things that I have left to pack are the little miscellaneous things. But everything else is packed, thank gosh. It's only 11.47. So the little turkey is actually in her swing and She's about to fall asleep. Since she's being calm, I'm gonna try and go ahead and get the poop out of her bouncer cover and her sleeper really quick. I wanted to show you guys what I do in these types of situations. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. I posted about this, I think like last week because we had another blowout situation. Anywho, the reason I wanted to share this on here with you guys is because I thought that everyone kind of knew this and I almost felt kind of dumb for posting it on Instagram. But then I'm so glad that I did because so many people messaged me thanking me because they had never heard of this before. So I wanted to share this with you guys just in case you don't know because it is a life saver. If you don't do well with like feces and stuff, you might want to just skip ahead because I'm going to show y'all her dirty sleeper and everything for reference. So I apologize in advance. I also apologize for the lighting. Actually, I'm not even going to apologize for that anymore because we all know my lighting sucks in my house. 
So this is the sleeper she had on. So there's poop on the front there. And then she got some on the back as well. Before I actually wash her clothes in the washer, I just turn on the water, let it get as hot as it'll go. And then I take Dawn dish soap. I know this says palm olive. I had Dawn in like this really huge container, only had a little left. So I put the Dawn in here so I didn't have to throw this away. So. I know, I'm not an idiot, I swear. This is Dawn. So, I'm gonna turn on the water and then I get it really, really hot. I put Dawn on the stained area and you literally just scrub. You scrub this stuff back and forth like this and I will forewarn you, it is gonna look like the poop stain is spreading. Don't worry about it, rinse it a little and keep scrubbing and it'll scrub it all out. Let me just show y'all a quick before and after. less than two minutes to do and I legit just scrub until there's no more stain and then after I've gotten the stain out then I will run it through the washer with the rest of the dirty clothes but this is it now no stain at all it is stain free my dudes stain free on both sides I hope that helps you guys in the future. It will help you with all your blowout needs. So as y'all can tell, little mama is over it. So I'm gonna go feed her and lay her down for a nap and I will catch back up with y'all in a little while. Okay guys, so it is several hours later. I can't remember the last time I picked up the camera. Um, I've been a little busy. She's been kind of needy and fussy. It's been a lot of me like doing stuff and packing, but also like sitting on the couch and feeding her and letting her cuddle. She's just very clingy. She doesn't feel good. She's fussy and she just wants to be held, which makes it a little harder for me. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but she's currently knocked out. She is snoozing. I have finally finished packing all of our stuff. I'm trying to like tidy up. So like I'm doing laundry in our room just so I don't have to do anything. I don't know. I'm just, I'm always like that. The only thing that I have left to do right now is pack up the dog stuff. It honestly shouldn't take me long at all. So I'm going to get a completely separate bag and put all of their stuff together. Oh, look at him. Y'all, he wants the squirrel so bad. Oh my gosh, my aunt's a little anxious about keeping them. So I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for her. So like I'm gonna put all of their food in Ziploc bags. Then I'm gonna write each of the dog's names on them cause they have different foods. And then I'm gonna write morning and evening so she can literally just grab a bag and read that it's Rico's and that it's for morning time and boom. Good to go, she doesn't have to think about it. It's currently 4.04, she is knocked out. I told my grandparents I was gonna leave my house around like 7 to 7.30. So really quick, what I'm trying to do right now, I wanna get the dog stuff packed up, I wanna load up the car, and then I would like to hopefully get in a quick workout and shower and bathe myself. Cause like I said, I still have coconut oil in my hair, so I'm gonna wash this out of my hair. That's the plan, so I'm gonna hurry so I can get all of this done and get her bathed and ready for bed. That way we can get on the road. My grandparents don't live very far from me, only like 30 maybe 40 minutes okay it's kind of far but it's not too bad oh and I guess I should show you I have her in her carrier right now what I've been doing leading up to this trip is I don't usually put her in a carrier I never really have to so she's not used to it so I wanted to make sure that I put her in this so she kind of got accustomed to it and used to it because the last thing that I wanted to do was never put her in a carrier and then put her in this carrier for the first time ever the day that I'm trying to walk around the airport I just thought 
that would be a terrible idea. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I did because there's sometimes where I put her in this and she's just not having it. Let me show you what it looks like. To show you all some cool features about this carrier, a lot of the carriers that I have, they're not like actual carriers, they're wraps. I've got a few different ones I can show y'all if y'all are interested. I really liked them when she was younger, but now that she's getting older and bigger, I wanted to have her in a carrier to where I could still use my hands and she still felt secure on me. The wraps that I have, I always felt like no matter how tight I had them, no matter how secure she was to me, it still felt like I needed to hold not only under her butt constantly, but that I needed to brace her head so that's what I love about this one the straps are super super thick I've been wearing her for almost an hour now and it feels fine my shoulders don't hurt I did a test run and put my backpack on as well which I was a little nervous because my backpack the straps are thick kind of like this too it's got thick straps that make it really comfortable so my shoulders don't hurt this is what the back looks like so there's a strap here that holds these together and then there is this strap at the bottom which helps with your lower back so your lower back doesn't hurt and then this this right here, this headpiece actually folds down if I want it to. So like if she's awake and wants to look around, I can just undo this button and hook it to here and it just folds down on both sides. She still has that support around her neck and lower head, but she's still able to kind of like see or Right now she's like knocked out and it's kind of just securing her head so her head's not like bobbling all over the place. It has a little zipper on it so I could put like my wallet or headphones, just really easy access so I'm not like digging around my purse to get whatever I need. It's got this mesh all right here on her lower back so it's really really breathable which is awesome because her and I are like freaking furnaces we get so hot and it has these little straps right here on the side which can tighten all of this right here so if I wanted to I could tighten and or loosen that up I love this thing this is not sponsored in any way shape or form this is the brand if y'all want to check them out. And this is what it looks like on, it doesn't look crazy bulky or anything. I really like it. And like I said, it's super breathable. Like I have got this, I don't know if you can tell very well. I mean, it's not like a crazy thick long sleeve shirt, but it's definitely enough to keep me warm. She's got on her long sleeve onesie and pants and socks and we're not sweating to death. And that's like unheard of. I'm not kidding when I say that her and I are freaking furnaces so I'm gonna go get the dog stuff set up I just wanted to kind of pop on here update you guys show y'all what we're working with because I don't have very long until we need to leave currently 712 I need to hurry it has been a very long and drooling last few hours my child has been on one your girl needs like 10 glasses of wine at this point sorry my stomach is growling I'm starving I haven't eaten anything in a while she won't let me put her down I set her down she screams oh I feel so bad she is just she doesn't feel good she wants mommy. She's been really, really fussy. But I did a quick little 10 minute workout. I've got the Sezi timer app and you can use it even if you don't have Sarah's Ace eBooks. But anywho, long story short, I just turned on the 10 minute blaster. You pick 10 exercises that you wanna do. You do each exercise for 60 seconds with no rest in between. So initially you're getting in a 10 minute workout with no break. Yeah, it can be pretty brutal. I showered. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if it was a little all over the place. I'm gonna very quickly bathe her and then I'm gonna load up the car and we're gonna head to my grandparents house. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps support my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!